right, so we've got our three pieces here. What I'll do is I'll glue these up a little. Get some glue on these miters and seal up that end grain on all the pieces. And then we'll line these up and I'll, I'm going to use these spring clamps to help me here. I'll put one down here and I'll put another one up here and then I'll wiggle this around till I get the bottoms perfectly flush. I want this piece right here to be perfectly flush. I want it perfectly flush at this point right here with this point here. So I'll just slide this down a little bit. There we go, until this comes right up to that point. And then I'll take the other one and put it in place too. Just get it positioned close. Because it'll slide around on that glue even as you're putting the spring clamps on. And if you want, you can put one clamp on and then wiggle that around a little bit. Because it's easier to do when you just have a single clamp on it and you can get that so it's perfectly flush right down here at the bottom. Now this is really critical. I'll show you why in just a second. Let me put this other spring clamp on. There we go. Now I'm going to take this whole uh, corbel and just push it down tight against the table. Just in case these sides aren't perfectly the same length, that way I'll take any rock out of it so it's perfectly flat. And if it's flat against the table, then it'll sit flat against the pilaster. I'll take the pin nailer now and just pin this together. pull off these clamps. Now, I want to ease these edges just a little bit. Get them flush. And just take the any kind of long point that's sticking up above the face of the corbel. I want to knock that down and then I want to just knock the very, very edge down. Just ease it just a hair. I still want it sharp, but I want to make sure that there isn't any fiber standing proud of the corbel in any direction that a finger or a piece of cloth could grab a hold of and pull a sliver off. Now let's look at the bottom here. We got this as flush as we could so that we only have to trim a little bit off of here, just the very tips of these two self-returns so that the corbel will end up being at exactly the right angle on the bottom. Now the reason for that is, if you take too much off of this, once you put on your bead molding onto the bottom, like so, won't be proud of the face of the corbel. I mean, if I trim it off way up here, the corbel will end up being proud of the bead molding and the whole thing will just look terrible. So we're gonna just take a little tiny bit off the bottom of this just to square this up. That 10 inch saw isn't quite big enough to cut this whole thing standing up in a saw this way. So there was just a little piece of this left. Like right here, you can see there's a little piece on this end here. So I'll just knock that off with a sanding block and that's ready to go. I've made the base block for this already. It's just two pieces of wood. This will be the top, the backing for the crown molding. And this is just a little block to act as backing for the corbel. So it just slips around like so. And you flush that up right there. And you should probably glue this together too. But for right now, I'll just tack this together. Just to show you how these work. And there's the finished corbel. 
All that's left is to put these little pieces on that make up the bead molding on the bottom. And for this, I'll use 2P10 glue. I'll put the glue onto the smaller pieces, and just a little bit of it, Gary. Not a whole bottle full. All we need is just a hair on there. And then I'll take the larger piece and I'll spray it with the activator. There's just a little piece of the miter hanging on there. And then these pieces are real simple. We'll just hinge them closed. That glue will set real quick in just a couple seconds. We'll do this side over here. Move your fingers around while you're doing this, just in case. Because with that squeeze out, you can get stuck to this real easily. So just keep moving your fingers around. And that, and there, see, it's already stuck to the table. And that goes on to the bottom here, just like so. So that can be glued on at the same time and nailed into place. And that's all there is to the whole corbel.